Hello everyone, back to the game to today's third video. We're going to look at the ECMWF Metro France and DWD long range seasonal models for today's uh, third video. And this is going to take us through the autumn and into the winter months as well, uh, can you believe? So, quite a big update um, for this uh, third update on your Sunday afternoon. Just say that the first video up today uh, was the uh, final, ninth and final autumn 2019 analogs update we was hoping to be able to bring you another analogs update next sunday but we're not going to be able to we need both two weeks really to um two weeks clear to get the uh, autumn forecast together so the analogs we brought you uh up to this week is as much as we can do and uh, we're going to take uh, take next week off with the autumn updates to get the forecast um, in place for you. So um, you may check that out. Videos on the homepage, and the video will be placed on the autumn updates page uh, later on today. For written summary. Uh, Gasweb is Sunday Roundup. Also, the penultimate Gasweb is Sunday Roundup. Can you believe? Only one more. Gas will be sending rounds to do, and then they are put on the back burner. They're done for probably for this year, actually, in favour of the winter updates, which commence uh, on Sunday, the 1st of September. Uh, so, two pretty big updates on the homepage right now. That autumn updates page will be placed on the uh, that autumn update will be placed on the autumn updates page later on. Uh, right then, so let's get on with this. Right, Copernicus.eu, and uh, you can find the link to this on the links page at Gazwebis and in the description at YouTube. So we begin with Metro France mean sea level pressure anomalies. We'll have a look at the corresponding temperature and precipitation anomalies. And then we will go on to the ECM and uh, to the DWD as well. Right, so this is how we're looking for mean sea level pressure anomalies for September, October, November. And by the way, just to say that um, this is all going to form part of the final, third and final, seasonal model roundup for the autumn 2019 that we're going to do next weekend. So no autumn analogues next weekend, but there will be the third and final seasonal model roundup for the autumn of 2019 next weekend. Right, so this is mean sea level pressure anomalies for... Um, the autumn, September, October, November, this is how it's looking. We Metro France, it has an area of below average heights, or let's say low pressure, as it's mean sea level pressure. So, have an area of low pressure around Greenland and Iceland, with high pressure over towards the east of Scandinavia and back into west of Russia. So, this, and then fairly average sort of um, conditions, really, across most parts of the North Atlantic and Central and Western Europe. It looks like this will probably be mainly influenced by the low pressure up to the north. West. So I would have thought this is probably a relatively unsettled autumn being signalled here. Let's go through to the next uh, free monthly period, which of course is going to take us to October, November, December. Starts looking a little bit more unsettled. That area of high pressure begins to recede back in towards central parts of Russia. The low pressure around Greenland and Iceland starts to dig southwards. So the jet stream is coming in rather like that. So if anything, as we go later on into your autumn, probably turning more unsettled, potentially even going uh, rather stormy there for, for October, November, December. And um, we we'll go through to the next tri-monthly period, the third and final one, for November, December, January. So we're heading from late autumn into sort of early winter type conditions here with this one. And uh, still quite unsettled up to the north, low pressures up to the north of us, but we've got this area of high pressure beginning to build down to the southwest. So still westerly, but if anything, could be turning very mild with that. The high pressure there centred around um, Spain and uh, back to the uh, Canary Islands, that sort of area just there. That could start to drag up some very, very mild air indeed from the southwest. So that's, that looks like a really mild signal, actually as we're going into the sort of late autumn, early uh, mid-winter type period. 
Let's have a look at temperature anomaly. So this is how the Metro France temperature anomaly is looking for the autumn 2019, September, October, November. Generally, it's milder than average. Not massively so, but it's certainly up to half a degree above average. Most parts of Europe are warmer in those uh, orange colours. Those orange colours, of course, are around half a degree to one degree above average. So let's go for a pretty, uh, pretty mild autumn most parts of uh, Europe. Certainly no sign of anything cold there. And then the temperature anomaly for October, November, December, also looking uh, mild, brief, most parts of Europe, warm across northern Scandinavia, above average across this western part of Europe, albeit only by half a degree or so. Um, but again, generally quite a mild autumn being signaled there for Europe, uh, or late autumn to early winter. Now, this is interesting. This is the temperature anomaly for November, December, January from Metro France. Um, and it's actually going close to average or no signal there, which is a little bit um, a little bit strange given the mean silver pressure anomaly because with high pressure setting up um, around Spain and Portugal, to the west of Spain and Portugal, you would have thought we'd be dragging up some very, very mild, if not warm, uh, air from sort of the mid-Atlantic with that. Uh, but actually, the temperature anomaly for the final chart, November, December, January 2019-2020, actually lowers or loses the signal to some degree. So for the far northeast of Europe, Scandinavia and the far northeast, still warmer than average there, most of the med looking quite uh, quite warm. But overall, actually, the temperature anomaly does lower a little bit uh, through this period. I'm not sure quite how that corresponds with this mean sea level pressure anomaly. There we go. That's what the model is showing, and it does actually lose that warm and average signal to some degree, anyway, by the final slide. Precipitation looks like this for autumn 2019. So very weak signals from Metro France for precipitation for this autumn. Uh, so it perhaps hints, hints at being a little bit wetter than average for the UK and Ireland, but no more than that. Uh, most places, again, most parts of Europe have no uh, no signal here for the autumn of 2019 as far as precipitation is concerned. Clearly goes a bit wetter, though, for October, November, December. So we see that um, in this trimester period, Metro France is turning wetter than average around Ireland, into the Atlantic, into western parts of Britain. Also parts of Scandinavia look like they're going wetter than average too. Otherwise, there's no signal, uh, really, that's particularly apparent here. Um, but it does look like the northwest of Europe. So let's say Scandinavia... Ireland and the UK, this area does look as though it's a bit wetter uh, through there. And we go through to the final trimester up period, which is November, December, January. And uh, with this one, what's happening is that uh, still wetter than average or above average precipitation, I suppose a lot of that could be snow over mountainous areas to Scandinavia. Uh, see, it's driving average down towards Spain, Portugal, and back into the Atlantic. So that's where the high pressure is. Now, with high pressure there, you would have thought we'd be bringing up those southwesterly winds. So I'm surprised the temperature anomaly wasn't greater for November, December, January. Generally, quite weak signals here as we go through the rest of this year into the opening month of uh, 2020. Uh, weak signals for precipitation. Uh, probably favouring wetter conditions, though, for the north and west of Europe overall, looking rather unsettled, rather Atlantic-driven and quite mild. So a mild and wet autumn to early winter, perhaps being favoured by Metro France. Let's move on to uh, ECMWF. And again, we come back to mean sea level pressure anomaly. So this mean sea level pressure anomaly from the ECMWF season model for uh, the autumn of 2019, September, October, November. Weak signals again, um, some below average heights to the north, northeast of us, so maybe a bit of a trough in over Scandinavia, if anything. That could leave us a little bit northwest to southeast aligned with the jet stream. So maybe rather changeable and a little bit cool, if anything, there for the autumn, perhaps. The next tri-monthly period takes us from uh, October through to December, October, November, December 2019. This one with some high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic. Again, low pressure is up to our north and northeast, probably bringing in more of a westerly flow, uh, if anything, with that one. And then we go through to the final trimonthly period, which takes us uh, into November, December, January 
2019-2020. Similar ideas to what Metro France is showing, but it's a little bit further north with that ridge. So instead of being centred sort of off the coast of Spain, Portugal, it's centred off the coast of Ireland. Uh, low pressure up here. And uh, again, probably bringing in a fairly flat westerly type flow. I wouldn't have thought that's quite as mild a signal, though, uh, in terms of mean sea level pressure anomalies as uh, Metro France is. France is showing. Notice there's no northern blocking being signalled for this autumn to early winter. It's all sort of low pressure, below average heights, right the way across the polar field, really. All these blue colours up here is uh, low pressure, below average heights. So no sign of northern blocking, interestingly, uh, up to the early winter period anyway, let's say. Uh, temperature anomalies with Metro France are looking like this. So it's above average again for the autumn 2019 for most parts of Europe. You'll notice UK and Ireland were around half a degree above average. The warmest anomalies to average across the central southern parts of Europe where it's around half a degree to one degree warmer than average. But all oh, um, places in Europe look like they're having milder than average autumn. Then we go through to October, November, December. Again, above average with the temperature anomaly here. Uh, Ireland, UK, around half a degree above average down to Spain and Portugal. Elsewhere, it's around uh, one degree above average. And then finally, we go through to November, December, January. And then we begin to just see the warmest of those signals easing off a little bit. Uh, we've still got Scandinavia around one degree above average and the central parts of Europe. No signal really in the east, so maybe hints of something a bit colder happening across the eastern parts of Europe. Western Europe again, it's around half a degree above average to one degree above average. It's not a big deviation, uh, but uh, again, a little bit milder than average with the ECMWF. As far as precipitation is concerned with the ECM, this is how we're looking for the autumn. Again, very, very weak signals for precipitation for the autumn. It does look as though Scandinavia is in for a rather wet autumn with above average precipitation. Otherwise, really, we have no signal with all of those uh, white colours. I would expect a relatively changeable autumn, though based on the mean sea level pressure anomaly. This is October, November, December from the ECMDF for precipitation. Again, looking rather wet across Scandinavia, maybe hinting at going a bit wetter than average, um, further into western parts of Europe. So close to um, eastern England, down into France, a little bit wetter than average there. Not a big deviation, but it does look as though, as we're going along here, going further into the autumn, uh, it's getting more and more unsettled, perhaps, as we move towards the end of the year. And then finally, we've got precipitation for November, December, January. Again, really, really weak signals. We see that it's drier than average around Spain and Portugal. Still looks generally a little bit wetter than average across the North Atlantic. Certainly not much sign of northern blocking. Um, so, again, lots of white, but a lot of no signals. So, precipitation is very, very weak indeed. I reckon ECM looks quite unsettled for the autumn to the early winter, and then possibly turning drier as we get later into sort of the, the early to mid-winter period, if you like, with high pressure beginning to set up to the west-southwest. It's not cold, though. Very little sign of northern blocking. And then finally, we've got the DWD. This is how mean sea level pressure anomalies are looking for the autumn of 2019 with DWD. And uh, again, same idea, low pressure. Looks like it's dominating around Greenland and Iceland. There is some high pressure from Scandinavia back to west of Russia, but it looks quite weak. So overall, I would expect that to be rather westerly. I'd expect that to be a relatively changeable signal for the autumn overall. The uh, next mean sea level pressure anomaly from DWD looks even more unsettled with low pressure coming southwards into the North Atlantic. That could be quite stormy even. Uh, October, November, December, that could be pretty stormy with low pressures crashing in off the North Atlantic. No sign of northern blocking whatsoever. And we go through to the final tri-monthly period, which is November, December, January. 
Still also a bit unsettled, but a little bit less so uh, compared to the earlier trimer appearance. You'll notice going white over Greenland. That's not snow. That's no signal. Um, so that might hint of a little bit of pressure beginning to rise up over Greenland, perhaps as we lose the strong low pressure signal that we have through the early, through the order to the early winter period. But overall, this still looks quite unsettled with low pressure in control. DWD temperature anomalies look like that for the autumn 2019. Warmer than average, particularly so for these northern, central and eastern parts of Europe, UK and Ireland. As with the other models, are only forecast to be around half a degree above average. So one of the cooler places in Europe, but still uh, a little bit above average with the temperatures. Goes warmer in October, November, December. This is the warmest that we've seen, actually, for this particular tri-monthly period. October, November, December with the DWD goes significantly above average to around uh, one degree above average there parts of northern Scandinavia one to two degrees above average that's warmer than anything that we've seen so far for uh, that tri-monthly period with any other of the models and we go through to November December, January finally for temperatures and uh, warmer than average still Scandinavia is uh, half a degree to one to two degrees above average up there uh, lowering a little bit across the UK and Ireland to sort of half a degree. But you can see all places really forecast to be above average with temperatures across all models over the next few months. There's no sign of anything cold other than here in the North Atlantic where it is below average. That's probably being influenced by what the model is forecasting for its sea surface temperature anomaly more than anything else. This does look like a, a mild or even perhaps quite warm end to 2019 based on these models and these models alone they could be wrong about that of course and then lastly we've got the temperature anomaly from a dwd precipitation only i should say from uh dwd so this is how it's looking um so he's been a little bit driving average actually across northern parts of europe um for the autumn i haven't seen that many other model but again really weak signals overall we've got so much white here which is no signal that i don't think we can really say that there is any particular signal for precipitation for this autumn uh they're into october november december maybe things are going a bit more unsettled then wet of an average to the northwest of the uk and also up here a little bit round there, possibly hints of being a bit wetter as we move towards the end of the year. And then finally we go through to November, December, January. And again, Scandinavia hints to have above average precipitation. Uh, a little bit above average with precipitation of North Scotland as well. Otherwise, there's loads of white. Looks rather dry though through the Mediterranean. Uh, right, so um, that's how these three models are looking this month. Generally for the autumn, I think they're indicating an increasingly unsettled signal. Not cold, just gradually as we go through the autumn, getting more unsettled. Potentially by late autumn, even quite stormy. I think within the model output, there is a hint of storminess later in the autumn. We get through to the winter, and of course, as you expect at this time frame, very uncertain there's certainly no sign of anything cold, though, for the winter at the moment, you have to say, because there's no e obvious evident northern blocking. So it just looks like we keep things rather unsettled, but probably relatively mild across northern Europe into certainly the early winter anyway. And I think we can't really go any further than that into January, February, March and uh, have an idea about what would happen there. But early winter, probably quite mild and still fairly changeable. Remember, these models are just a snapshot, and they are prone to chopping and changing, so it could all look very different when we do next month's update uh, with the e 7 f Metro France and DWD seasonal models. Uh, these models will form part of the third and final Autumn 2019 season model roundup that we're going to do next weekend, as I said at the start of the video. And once that's done and dusted, then, of course, we've got to bring you the autumn forecast, which we will do on Saturday, the 31st of August. Don't forget to check out the ninth and final autumn 2019 season model roundup and also Gav's Love is Sunday roundup. But what am I talking about? Don't forget to check out the ninth and final autumn 2019. It's been a very, very long day. This is about the fifth or sixth video that I've recorded uh, as I'm doing this on Friday, 16th of August. I've still got one more to do, actually, before I'm finished today. 
So let's try that again. Don't forget to check out the ninth and final autumn 2019 analogs update. It's on the home page right now. We will be placed on the autumn updates and forecast page. There's also Gaz Weather's Sunny Roundup, which is on um that's on the home page as well. So have a look at both of those. But at nearly, not quite, but nearly 20 minutes. That's all for now, and thank you for watching.